robots. Um, what, talk to me through the inbound pass at the very end of the game. Um, so Coach Riley had us in the huddle, and he said the last option was to throw a log. So we drew it up, <laughs> and um, everyone was setting screens, but he said apparently that was the first option for Ethan. So he throws a log and catch it, and uh, yeah. Now, neither of you are football players. No. Right? You've claimed this before. Um, is that a play you, you practice every much? In- we, we practice that every so often, but um, we never really throw the long pass. Yeah, it usually goes to option one, two, or three, but yeah. we didn't even look at those. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Coach, uh, Northern Colorado, St. Thomas's uh, play, especially early in the second half, seemed to show what he can do. How important was it that he was not out there that he didn't much in the first half? That's a big key for us, uh, you know, is, is to make these guys work. We're an uh, offense that is very evenly distributed, and, and so we know that we got to attack uh, guys like St. Thomas, guys like uh, Jaron really and make them work on the defensive end, it's going to help us down the stretch. It's going to help them help us miss shots. If you got to wrestle with, with Cedric and Lawan down in the post for 40 minutes, that, that's tiring. And, and so it just takes their legs out a little bit, and, so I, and, and that got them in foul trouble as well. Juan, uh, I mean, there, was, I, there were a couple of times I think you were calling for the ball pretty loudly under the basket. Um, were you just finding a lot of mismatches? Are they just not a very big team? Or what, what, was that, what was going on? I think they had two solid big dudes, but usually we have two – big dudes also so I would be the third one and that's a medium-sized guy I usually feel pretty good about him posting him up uh, six of eight uh four rebounds and things like this I think people are growing accustomed to this but are you getting more confident out there for sure play? definitely definitely it was early in the year I wasn't I had to find my role and see what I can actually affect in the game but now I'm feeling a lot more confident uh, coach to win a close game like this at home uh with a pretty jazzed up crowd I'm just curious what's that like for you guys on the bench to kind of enjoy the atmosphere like that at the end of the game it was cool to have the crowd going like that and and, and yelling getting getting to miss free throws uh it just it just it's what it's all about you know our, our guys have really battled the season and, and been through a lot of adversity and for us to come home and these guys to support us this is our first game with the students back and it's only gonna get better and then uh Cedric got a third foul early in the second half you chose to leave him in I'm just curious did you have to say anything to him about it or what went into that decision uh, you know, I felt like we had left him out in the in, in the sec, in the first half when he got two fouls, and uh, we, we were in a good good rhythm. We were building a lead a little bit, and so I was kind of toying with bringing him back in, in the first half. But he he, uh, you know, I trust him. I trust our guys. We we play a lot of guys with two fouls, depending on the matchups, the game, and what it needs. Uh, I trust our guys. Uh, and then Ellis had six assists, and uh, I'm just curious, and five rebounds. Uh, what did you see from from him tonight? Uh, he he's our leader, especially you know. I, on offense and defense, but what he did defensively to, to really make, make uh, really work and, and what he does as far as getting guys involved, finding the open man, six assists. He's got an incredible assist to turnover ratio this season. Um, you know, he's just he's one of the best leaders I've ever coached. He's a great person. Um, it's just exciting to see him do so many different things to impact winning. Just, you know, this team obviously no stranger to streaks going back to last year, but just how good does it feel and – you know, chip in on this too, just to stack them up and just say, hey, we got another one, we got another one, we got another one. Yeah, you know, we're just trying to stay in the moment and uh, really enjoying this. I think our, our big thing is that we, we just want it, to it, do things the right way. When we have great practices like we did this week, you know, we, we talked on Tuesday, we, we're, we're going to win this, this game versus Northern Colorado on Tuesday. That, that's the goal. And we came in and practiced, we got after it. Luan said that a few times. Uh, on Tesday when, when guys were getting into it. And, and, and that, that's the reality. When we keep doing the right thing and keep stacking days, we're going to be play, playing our best ball in March. And if a streak comes, a streak comes. But we want to go to the dance. Go on. You know, this is a team that can light it up from three. It was a tough night. So you guys just went inside and kind of played bully ball. How much fun is that to, to just go, you know, chest to chest on some guys and come out on the top? That's my favorite ball. I mean, <laughs> when someone's down there and he's just a little bit, just like a little bit smaller than me, I like to take advantage of that. If they're a little bit bigger, I like to bring them out. So I like using my advantages on these guys. Uh, this is really for both of you, but just kind of big picture. You guys are on the streak. The women are on such a streak. There's so much good vibes around Eastern basketball right now. Just what is that like to, to kind of, you know, pass those guys in the hallway sometimes and you're both having so much success? Yeah, it, it, it's cool to see them have success. And, uh, you know, to be honest with you, I, I've just enjoyed – getting to know their staff and, and seeing the kind of passion that their team has. The, those girls are in the gym all the time. Uh, we got some gym rats. That they, they got some, some girls that are, that are competitive with us. They, they're in there all the time. And, uh, that, that's what it takes to have winning programs, and it's, it's really cool to see. Awesome. Uh, Coach, just what, how much of a luxury is it to have a guy like Luan and also Dane come off the bench for you? I mean, they could be starters on more than half the team. Is 
We we got seven guys that can start. Uh, we've we've got a really really deep team. Typically in practices, you you have the first team versus the second team. I got ten guys that really can play, and you know we don't do starters for a second team in practice. We just mix them up because we know we're going to get even contribution from all these guys. I mean, Luan and Dane are, are usually top two or three in the minutes, depending on the game, unless Dane gets in foul trouble. Um, and, and these guys, it just kind of next man up and whatever the game calls for. Today, call for a little more bully ball. Some games it calls for more threes. And these guys are just so unselfish. There's a real joy and camar camaraderie with this team, and it's, it's just fun to watch.